Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet these pansies. I'm using about 15 yards total of worsted weight yarn and a size G crochet hook. To begin, with the yellow yarn, make a slip knot. Then chain four. Slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. For round one, we'll start with a chain one. And in this ring, we'll make eight single crochet stitches. Once completed, slip stitch to the first stitch. For round two, we'll start with a chain four. Skip one stitch, then slip stitch in the next stitch. Chain four again. Skip one, slip stitch. Chain four again. Skip one, slip stitch. And finally, chain four, skip one, and slip stitch. You'll have four chain four rings. For round three, slip stitch into the ring, then chain two, and make six double crochet stitches in this ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Once completed, chain two and make a slip stitch in the same ring. Now move on to the next ring with the same pattern. Slip stitch, chain two, six double crochet stitches, chain two, and slip stitch into the same ring. You'll continue the same petal pattern around for the remaining two loops. For round four, we'll make a chain 10. And do a back post slip stitch here in between the petals. Chain 10 again. This time we'll do a back post slip stitch on row two instead. These long loops will be used to make petals behind the flower later. For round five, I'm working with the light blue yarn. Place a slip knot on your hook. Then find the first petal that has a chain 10 behind it. Insert the yarn in the petal between its chain two and double crochet stitch and slip stitch. Next, chain two. And make two half double crochet stitches in the same space. Next, we're going to work in between the stitches. Make one double crochet in each of the next five spaces between the stitches. Three, four, and five. And between the last double crochet and chain two, make two half double crochet stitches. Chain two and slip stitch in the same space. And here we have completed one petal. We're going to repeat the very same pattern for the next petal. Slip stitch into the next petal, chain two, make two half double crochet stitches, Then in between the stitches, make one double crochet. 
You'll have five double crochet once completed. Make two half double crochet in the last space. Chain two and slip stitch in the same space. And that's it for the light blue. It will be used only on two petals. Fasten off, but don't weave in the ends just yet. Now I'm working with the medium blue yarn for round six with a slip knot on my hook. I attach the yarn with a slip stitch. Then I chain two. Make one double crochet. Then in this ring, make eight treble crochet stitches. Then make a double crochet stitch. Chain two and slip stitch in the same space. You can see the first petal has been completed. Now we repeat for the second petal. Slip stitch into the chain 10 space. Chain two. Chain two and slip stitch in the same ring. And here are the finished petals. I like to take my two strands on the sides and knot them together. This keeps the front and back petals closer together. Then I weave in all ends. If you have some brown thread or floss or yarn, you can make some decorative stitches in the center. And sew or glue on some bling in the center. And that's how I crochet a pansy flower. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.